Kiddos, it's Storage Digit here and today I'm going to be showing you how to make an Animal Jam banner. So the first thing you're going to want to do is to go to www.pickmonkey.com slash edit or hashtag edit. I'll leave the link down in the description below if you want to, you know, not have to search it up. And yeah, let's get on with the video. The first step in actually making the banner is to actually have a banner template that you can use. So I don't normally make banners like this, but today I think I'm going to go onto my channel Take the snipping tool, it's an app on your computer, if you just go to the start and then search it in, every single computer has it, so. And I'm going to just take a screenshot of that and then use that as a template and I don't know how that's going to work out. So I brought that into PicMonkey and I'm going to use that. Also before I use the canvas colour option to change the colour of the background, I'm going to uh, put a square over where the profile picture is on a computer so that I don't get stuff in the way of the profile picture or you know the profile picture doesn't get in the way of stuff and yeah also I realized my mic is crackling and I can't actually do anything about that so I'm so sorry you're gonna have to put up with it and since I'm making a fan banner for Magnum Plays AJ uh, to hopefully cheer her up a bit about the drama that's been surrounding her recently uh, I'm gonna make the background pink so apply and like I showed you in my last video for you know this banner stuff I've actually done the same thing the burst um, overlay uh, well texture and if you want to go check that out I'll leave the link down in the description so yeah and now for the text now as you probably know I don't recommend using actual pick monkey for the text I recommend using something with gradients or outlines or something like that unless you have Pick Monkey Royale and I think there might be something on there. I'm not I'm not entirely sure, but you know, I I have Microsoft for PowerPoint for free, so I might as well use it. And yeah, I'm just going to make some text. And also side note, if you're hating on Magnet for this drama and for her letting out her opinion, then honestly you can just click off the this video unsubscribe to my channel and leave because I don't support what you're doing alright so I've got the text into the banner and it doesn't really fit into me so I'm gonna change the colors around a bit alright so I think these colors look a little bit better I'm still not quite content so I'm gonna change them again because I really want this banner to be pretty awesome so. okay so now I like these colors and I'm going to go onto the eraser tool and erase that little apostrophe that I used to stop the top of the text getting cut out and re uh, position the text and resize it and stuff and I'll be back once I've done that. Okay, so I'm back and I've put the text where I want it and now I'm going to add in a special overlay which I think looks really cool on any banner and that's lightning. Now, uh, I know a lot of people use this and I mean, I'm not trying to steal it or anything but to be honest, you can't own an overlay that's on Google Images so, um, Okay, so I put in a few lightning overlays and I'm pretty happy with this, so next I'm going to add some art. Alright, so I got this art off Magnet's Deviant Art uh, because it's transparent on there and, you know, it's just easier than actually removing the background and all that in Lunapix. So. And by the way, Magnet drew this, she used Procreate if you wanted to know, and um, she does all her art with Procreate and stuff, and I'll leave a link to her deviant art and her Instagram in the description below if you want to like check out her art, support her, or just you know follow her because she's a great person. Oh, okay, guys, so I also got her main animal off her deviant art, a uh, transparent version, and she actually did like this stuff, uh, this outline. So, you know, you can ask her if you want how to do that because I have absolutely no idea, and uh. I just thought like there was an empty space here and I just needed to fill it and I know like the icon is going to go over the tail because of this you know black thing that's showing where the icon will be but you know I don't know <laughs> it doesn't really matter because it's just the tail because like you know it's just I'm just gonna bring that to the front so we can see where the icon is and I think that's actually going to wrap up that video because I'm pretty content with this I don't know, I might, um, okay, so I'm adding a bit of frost because I just, like, really loaf it, you know, I think it looks really snazzy and in white, and actually I'm gonna bring the fade down a bit, 
And yeah, guys, that's gonna wrap it up for this video. I'm just going to delete that. That is the finished banner. Okay, guys, so this is actually the finished banner. You have to actually put it on uh, templates where it will fit as a YouTube banner. You can't just have this middle strip. And yeah, guys, I'm gonna have to wrap up that video right there. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you in the next video. Goodbye.